Hello! I've created for you today a basic yoga stretch um, just designed to help give yourself a little relaxation. Um, stretch out the shoulders, upper back, lower back, and then a little bit of your hamstrings and thighs. Um, if you have a yoga strap, I recommend using the yoga strap for the first session when we open up our um, shoulders and our chest. If you don't have a yoga strap, then you could use a towel, a belt, or a little sarong, anything that kind of gives a little extra length to our arms and distance. So I hope that this little stretch brings you inner peace within yourself and a little bit of relaxation, whether it's the beginning of your day, the middle, or the end. And so to start, just come onto your mat, just find a comfort seated position for you, whether you have your legs straight out or have them gently crossed. I want you to go ahead and close your eyes. Bring your hands down onto your legs, your knees, and have your palms face up. Drawing the shoulders down away from your ears, allowing the crown, the top of your head, to extend a little bit closer to the sky. Relaxing the muscles in your face and gently moving down the butts of the body, relaxing all those muscles. And bring awareness to your breath as you take steady inhales through your nose and exhales right back through your nose. Gently blinking your eyes open. Give a little wiggle into your shoulders, rolling them gently back and forward. Grabbing your strap, go ahead and bring it behind. Have your palms face you and start with your fingers, your wrists together, and as you gently extend them out to the length of your strap so that your arms are extended and your elbows aren't bent, maybe just a tiny little micro bend. Take an inhale, gently lift up on that strap, keeping it nice and taut. And stay for the exhale. Steady breaths. And gently lifting up a little bit higher if that space for you is there. If not, just continue holding where you are. Lifting through that chest rather through your arms. And as you feel suitable, continuing to raise those arms up or just stay where you are. Try to reach towards the top of your head. Keeping the strap nice and taut. Feel the space opening up between those shoulder blades as you continue to lengthen the spine by reaching the crown, the top of your head up. And bring the right hand down to the side as you extend the left arm up, maybe shifting the gaze up towards your hand. Inhale, come back up to the center as you exhale over towards that left side, reaching the right hand up. Coming back to the center, again over to the right. Inhaling up to the center, over to the left. Back up to the center, let's do that one more time. Reaching the arm down to the right. And back up to the center. And once again, over to the left. Inhale, up to the center. Lift through that chest. As you exhale, lower the hands back behind you, nice and slow with control. Keeping that strap nice and tight. Feel free to move your hands on your strap if it feels a little bit too long, bring them a little bit closer. 
And again, extending, lifting up. We're going to use the range of motion that you have today. If you're able to come over your head and forward and back up behind you or just stay behind you and moving up and down at your own pace and at your own height. Coming back behind you in the middle of your back. Once again, bring your arms back down to the right, shifting the up to the left, to the center, and down to the left, up on the right. Again, center, rotating. Come back to the neutral spot here. Lift up through that chest. And then we're going to hinge at our waist, bringing the hands over our head and reaching in front, curling that belt underneath our wrists, using that strap as a guide. Placing the hands down onto the mat if that space allows. If you find that you don't have that space and it's hard that your hips are coming up behind you, maybe finding um, a blanket or towels to wrap to sit underneath you to help elevate yourself so that you're allowed to reach a little bit forward. And from here, you can release that strap and continue reaching forward and just set that strap off to the side. Gently walk your hands over to the right side of your body. Pull those left hips down. Try to really connect them to that mat. Walking your hands to the center and over towards that left side. Pulling those right hips down into that mat and just notice any subtle difference that you may have as we transition from one side to another. Walking your hands back to the center. See if you can reach them out just a little bit further, walking your hands out, really pulling those hips back, connecting them to that towel, blanket, or your mat. Gently walking your hands back towards you, sitting yourself back up. And we're going to transition down to our mats, making sure that we have that strap or towel next to us nearby. Gently have your hands behind your thighs as we hold gently to curl ourselves down nice and slow. A little bit of core work here. Lowering all the way down on our mats. Walk the feet in closer towards you. Go ahead and grab that strap. We're going to bend that right knee and bring that strap underneath your foot so that it's on the arch of your foot as you gently extend that right leg out and pulling your hands down your strap. Pull your hands as far down as your strap so that your shoulders make connection to that mat. Now you can either keep your left knee bent or you can extend that left leg out so that it's onto your mat. And gently using that breath to relax the body so that your toes can get ever so closer towards your face. See if you can pull those toes a little bit closer towards you, stretching out those hamstrings, making sure to keep that little bend into your knee so it's not locked out. And go 
ahead and grab your strap into your right hand. Bring your left hand down by your side. Use that strap as a guide as you open that right leg out to the side. As far as the space for you, stretching out those hips. The inner thighs. And lowering as far down as feels comfortable for you. Drawing that right leg back up to the center, switch the grips into the other hand. Right hand down next to you onto the floor as you draw that right leg cross it over your body and allowing it to come as far down as feels good. Here we want to try to keep the right shoulder rooted to the ground, making that connection to your mat. As you continue to pull that strap so you feel the nice stretch in the outer thigh, the hip. Bring that right leg back up to the center, keep it here. Bend that left knee. Go ahead and bring that left foot alongside the right so that the strap is on both arches of your feet. Once again, draw your hands down your strap to allow those shoulders to connect to your mat. As you ever so slightly pull those feet gently towards your head. Stretching out the hamstrings of both legs here. A little bit of calf. And making sure that you didn't tense up the muscles in your face. That everything's still nice and relaxed. Gently release from the right foot only. Go ahead and bring that right foot back down onto your mat. Again, either the sole of the foot onto that mat, or you can extend the right leg all the way out. Keeping the left leg up. Grab the strap into your left hand. Bring the right hand down by your side. We're gonna open this left leg out to the side. Lowering with control, utilizing that strap as a guide. Drawing the leg back up to the center. Change grips. Strap is in your right hand now as you bring the left hand down by your side. Gently lowering the left leg, crossing it over your body towards the right side. Keep that left shoulder rooted to the mat. Draw that left leg back up to the center. Bend the left knee, lower it down and remove that strap from the left foot and set that strap off to the side. From here, go ahead and cross your right ankle over your left thigh. You can either stay here and use your right hand to press gently that right knee away from you. Really making sure that you're pressing the backs of your, your lower back, those hip bones that you have back there into that mat. Tuck your chin under just slightly to keep it neutral. Option to hug that left thigh in towards you. Get more of a figure four using that right elbow to press that right knee away from you. Feel a nice stretch in the outer right side of the thigh and the glute, the piriformis muscle. Gently releasing your hands only. Keep those legs across, whether you've hung that thigh in or you've kept your foot onto the mat. 
We're gonna lower those legs over to the left side. Nice and slow with control. Gently bring the left hand to press that right knee away from you ever so slightly, feeling the stretch in that outer right hip. And gently release, draw those legs back to the center, change sides, crossing the left ankle over the right thigh, either keeping here, your right foot onto the mat, as you gently press the left knee away from you with your left hand. Or option to hug behind that right thigh as you draw it in towards your chest, using that left elbow to press out that left knee away from you. Gently releasing your hands, keeping the legs crossed, hands out to the side as you gently lower the legs across the body towards the right. And using that right hand to gently press the left knee away from you. And release, bring the knees back up to the center, uncross them. Go ahead and open your knees out to the side or extend your legs completely out straight. Whatever feels best for you for this final stage here, just resting. You may bring your hands onto your belly, one onto your belly or your heart or both on your belly, or you can keep them just resting down by your side as you reclose your eyes for a moment. Take a big breath in through your nose and exhaling out the mouth. One more time, breath in. Open the mouth and exhale out. And if you have the time to stay here a little bit more, please do so. Or if this is the end for you for now, please take the time to gently rise out of your position. Hope to join you on the mat another time.